Hey, welcome back. Do you like Disney? Well, if you do, this set is going to knock your socks off and then your feet will get cold. But don't blame me, it's not my fault. It's the fault of the set. This I didn't even, this wasn't even on my radar as a new release, but it's so much more than it appears to be on the box. Now I'm gonna explain as we go along. It's gonna become clear, but <laughs> the name of this set, you ready for this? A hundred years of Disney animation icons. Oh my gosh, such a catchy title. But what it is is a whole heap of Disney iconography which you build in little portraits and then you can display them. So I think that was an apt description of what it is. Let's have a look at the details. So there are 1,022 pieces in this. A lot of them are very, very small. It's kind of like a dot set. $90 here in Australia. I got it for $79 at Kmart, uh, but I've seen it for $71 or $72 online somewhere. I think myhobbies.com.au. Anyway, so shop around. Don't always pay the RRP, but let's check. Look, on the outside of the box it says 72 design some things <laughs> included. I'm just flipping through the instructions here. So you've actually got all of these little portraits that you build, but you don't have to do just the ones that are on the instructions. Like the instruction books are the ones we're going to do today. But you've also got, look, you can have Pixar. You can like have a Pixar theme set up. You can have like the icons with some Mickey kind of thingies in here. Oh, they're so cute. Look at that. And oh, a whole heap of Disney princesses. I'm totally going to do that as a completely different video. Some like mix and the yeah. Oh, and a villains one. All right. So all of those instructions apparently going to be available online, which they're not just yet because the set hasn't officially been released yet. But the set comes with uh, an exclusive Mickey. So let's just have a look at this. It's really cute that it's actually essentially a dot set, a portrait building set, but it also has got a minifigure. So we've got Mickey, he is is doing the painting. Love his little painter overalls, very, very cute. He also has got the newish now, I suppose, newish color scheme for the palette, which is in the blue, which came with the Van Gogh set, the Starry Starry Night, but it has turned up since then quite a few times, and a blue paintbrush. So he is, uh, I mean, it's nice to have him, and it's good that he has a little base plate here too. So you can set, there's, there's a lot in this set that you're going to like. It's actually really nicely designed. The idea of it is really nicely designed. We're going to fly through the actual building of the frames because even though they're very important and they're very, very clever, they're not terribly interesting. The interesting part is the portrait building itself. So this is a little single frame that you can actually prop up. So you can either hang it up. It's got a little hangery bit, hangery bit on the top. And this bit is actually so that you can stand it up on your desk. Oh, I love this. It's such a really neat design too. The last time I had something you could stand up was I think the Guess Who game <laughs> made out of Lego, it was clunky. So here we go. We've got our little portraity thing here. You've got a Mickey Mouse ears bit on the top, but the point is you get to fill it in. So I'm just gonna build these as per the instructions today. And I'm gonna muck about with this over the next few weeks, I think. So because it is Disney's 100th anniversary, this is what this set is all about. It's the iconography of all of the Disney stuff from the beginning of Disney time. So we've got 100 here in Mickey colors, very cute, beautiful printed Disney 100 tile on the bottom. I'm trying to make sure that these tiles are actually lined up and doesn't hurt my brain to look at it, but look at that. And I can pop that out at any stage and change it over with something else. So let's get the big frame all done. We're gonna zoopity doop through this as well. It's a very, very pretty, very elegant frame, rounded over with white bits, and it's also got some little focal Mickey Mouse ears on the sides, like just kind of peeking out off the sides. It's very classy. Uh, so we can actually put nine different portraits into this frame. Yeah, and they just click in in the corners. So clever, really simple and clever. So we're on the end of that bag. We are up to, there are three bags of actual frame building and then bags number four, of which there are three, are filled with all of the colors and the pieces that you need to make the little portraits, the Disney portraits. So we're going through nice and fast. This is our other little Mickey poking out from the bottom corner. This is exactly the same or almost exactly the same configuration. No, it is the same configuration except for the little Mickey ears on the corner as the top part. And then we're going to be blending these together in the middle, not blending them. We're just shoving them together, poking them together. And then this is it. Now we have got our, just need to put the Mickey Mouse ears on. Now we've got our frame, which is nice and big and able to be hung on a wall. We've got nine spaces to put portraits in, so let's do it. Here's all our pieces. Okay, we got to the fun part. Well, you know, building the frame was fun, but no, this is the funnest bit. Okay, so we've got 11 plates here, which we are going to be putting 
Disney portraits on two. So we're going to start with Elsa. This is all in the instructions. This is all in the instructions. That's not English. These are all in the instructions and I'm just following them. I'm terrible at this, like doing a flat kind of portraity thing. So I'm really looking forward to learning how this works because you build it up by layers. It's kind of like doing a little pixels, but with cooler <laughs> pieces. I don't know what I'm rambling about. So we've got the little teal colored bit of bottom part of her dress down the bottom. We've got the light nougat flesh color and her hair we can obviously see and face is built out there now and that's her hair curling around here and then we just need a little bit of hair curling around the side and then I feel as though we should be smoothing off the top. Yeah, there we go. Look at all that. That just makes the curls, the waves so beautiful. <gasps> Look at that. You know instantly who that is. Uh, it is so good. I need to learn how to do this. It should be simple, but I don't find it simple. So this is really clever. Okay. Got Elsa? Who's next? Of course, we've got Olaf. So we're going to have a couple, we've got a couple here that match, which is nice. Let's see how this goes together. He's going on the purple plate. Got a little brown bit at the top for his stick. And then his white head bit and the, oh, an upside down triangle for his body. Yes, moving that around. Eyeball, printed eyeball pieces. Very cute. I love how they're looking up to the side. I wonder what he's looking at. <laughs> And then building up the next layer has got the layer of blue for his mouth and then the next one ups for his nose and his tooth and yeah, a little carrot triangle. Oh, hold on. <laughs> this is not Elsa. There we go. The carrot triangle could have been a darker orange, but it's fine. You know exactly who it is. Okay, next. I'm not going to show you who it is next because you're going to guess. We're going to guess as we go along and... I'm not going to remember who on earth it's supposed to be. So let's go. We're on a green plate. We've got brown. We've got orange poking off the sides. Got some light nougat as the flesh tone here. Seems to be reasonably predominant with the Disney princesses. So it's probably a Disney princess of the older variety rather than the new ones. Uh, got brown on the top. I don't know yet. Oh, this is the face. Oh, of course. Okay, so it's... <laughs> Are you shouting it? <laughs> shouting it at the screen. It's Belle, Ellie. It's Belle. So got the little, uh, little bits of bangs around, like curly bits of the swirly hair at the top. Look at that. It, uh, how did I not know that was Belle before we even got towards the end? Because <laughs> they fooled me with the green in the middle, I think. Okay, next light yellow plate, a black upside down kind of rainbow here. Why is that an upside down rainbow? It's a rainbow shape. Got the light nougat flesh tone again. And these little red studs are supposed to go between the other studs. So hard to put them on like that. So I'm putting our next layer on, which is big round. Look, <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's Mickey. How could we not know that? It's like the like an, an old version of Mickey. So you got the eyeballs too, little, little black nose. Here, Mickey, here you are in black and white and light nougat. I really do want a full Disney princess frame though I think. I'm definitely going to be adapting this or maybe doing the full Pixar one. Oh my gosh, all, all the villains ones. That would be, oh, you don't have to have all, you don't have to have, <laughs> if I get bored I can just change it up basically. Okay, so focusing on what we're doing here, once again we've got the light nougat flesh tone got the oh it's snow white with the little red puffy sleeves on the top with the blue on the that's so cute those puff sleeves are great and then for the face do we build no the face is done so we just need the little curvy bits with the black to make the hair look at that <laughs> it's just instantly I, it just blows my mind how just a few pieces you can instantly recognize who that's supposed to be. Let me get Snow White out. And then for the next one, we need the apple. But how come we don't have a version of the poison apple yet? We are about to, though. There is actually a big buildable villain set with a big buildable book, a big buildable apple. And if I say buildable one more time, it's not going to turn into a word anymore. And my mouth is going to feel really, really weird. But yeah, I'm looking forward to that too. Who else is in that one? There's Maleficent. There's the Snow White Witch Queen. And oh, there's Gaston and I think Jafar. Oh, this is going to be so exciting. This is all so exciting. All right, poison apple. Fantastic. That's so good. Okay, next one. I think this one is not a Disney princess 
either. This one is an animated animal, which I think they actually did a live action version of this, which I haven't seen. Uh, I don't know that it did particularly well, but the original animated one is just a treasure. Let's have a look. Have you figured out who it is yet? We've got big pink ears and grey on the top and a little orangey hat. Can you see now? Can you see that it's Dumbo? How cute is this? Just need some eyeballs and then we need the trunk bit to go down here. Look at all those layers. Oh, this is so fun. Okay, pink plate. This one, I'm pretty sure I saw the instructions for Cruella in there too. This one looks like it might be, or maybe it's Jafar. What about the colors for this? No, nope, nope, nope. I can see instantly now with the color scheme that it is Jasmine. It's definitely Jasmine, the little orange earringy bits at the top. Oh, so good in the black hair, just kind of swirling around. There's so much animation just in that hair, in where it's going. Look at that. I need to stop saying look at that, but look at that. And here it, here we go. Here's Jasmine as the mini doll right next to her portrait. So perfect. Okay, next one, we got a, an azure blue base plate or just plate. Got orange for this one. It was hard to tell in the instructions whether that was supposed to be orange or medium nougat, but it's definitely orange. Got the light nougat skin tone again. Orange around the edges. What? I don't know who this, I mean, it's not Merida. It could be Merida with a, no, it's <laughs> not Merida. It's a chipmunk. Okay, so sorry, Merida, that I equated you with a chipmunk. You don't look anything like a chipmunk. I just needed to put some more on before I... <laughs> <laughs> finish guessing. So this one's Chip and Dale, well, like out of Chip and Dale, but this is Dale because Dale is the chipmunk with the red nose. See? Look how cute that is. But I do think the orange, no, the orange looks great. Orange is fabulous. Okay. Light, bright yellow plate. Black on here. Maybe this time we've got, I don't know why I'm obsessed with the idea of Jafar. Blue, red, like these are kind of snow white colors. No, it's Mulan. Oh, fantastic. I'm, there must be instructions here for Pocahontas too somewhere, I'm sure. I just need one more, yeah, quarter pie piece here for the little, to make that, yeah, to make her hair go over her forehead. That's such, there's so few pieces there and it just is, it's so easily recognizable. <laughs> okay, pink one. This one is our last one to be filling in for today, following just the instructions in the book. So we've got, uh... Oh, it's Maleficent. So we've got the white face at the top. Very nice. The horns and... Oh, look at... <laughs> Stop saying look at that. But look at that. Look how good that is. Oh my gosh. All right. So now, now that we've got our 11, our 11 portraits here, I'm actually going to pop... So you can choose your favorite and just pop it on your desk. So I'm going to pop Mickey in here. With, like, there's an overdose of Mickey over here. But I'm going to put the 100, 100 years of Disney in the middle. And then if I just kind of place these out and I then can decide what looks nice where and not put two colors, like two pinks right next to each other and then we'll be good. And I'm leaving poor old Dale and Dumbo out for now because I've just kept all the princesses basically in there and Olaf and an apple. I think I like this. And they just clip in at the corners. It's so easy to pop them out to change them over. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this is extremely versatile. It's ultimately customizable. And I picture myself having a lot more future fun with this. So in fact, I already have so many plans. So make sure you subscribe, leave me a comment. Let me know if this is something that you are going to pick up and I'll be back with more videos really soon. So I will see you then. <laughs> Bye.